Most of us have seen an aircraft carrier. You know the one in which Maverick would land on. Although these ships are composed of metal, are almost the size of a small city and weigh more than 100,000 tons, they still float. How is this possible? It all has to do with buoyancy. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. If you have ever tried to push a beach ball underwater, you know how difficult this can be. This is because the water pushes an upward force against the beach ball. This upward force is called buoyancy, which is the ability of a fluid like water to exert an upward pressure. If you drop an object in water, which is a fluid, then the water level will rise. In other words, the water will be displaced. The weight of this water that is displaced will be equal to the buoyancy force. Archimedes came up with a principle, and in simple terms it states that the buoyancy force of an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. So let's go back to the aircraft carrier. The aircraft carrier displaces an amount of water that is equal to the weight of the carrier and therefore it floats. Remember the Archimedes principle. The buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced water. When you have a large ship like an aircraft carrier on the ocean, you have two forces working in opposite directions. You have gravitational force pushing down on the ship and buoyancy force pushing upward on the ship. Let's keep it simple and use the kilogram. If the mass of the ship is a thousand kilograms and the mass of the water displaced is a thousand kilograms or greater, the ship will float. But if something happens and the mass of the ship increases to say 2,000 kilograms, it will sink because the gravitational force pushing down on the ship will be greater than the buoyancy force pushing upward on the ship. One way that shipbuilders use to help ships float is by making the ships long with open spaces, which increases the ship's volume, which in turn increases the amount of water displaced, which allows the ship to float. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.